income or how to go from $100,000 to making a million dollars a year as a coach and consultant. Enjoy. Let's talk about the seven business models for coaches and consultants. And I'm going to go through the seven business models now. As I go through these business models for coaches and consultants, what I want you to do is to look at your current business model and look at it as, oh, I am doing it already, or hmm, I never thought about that business model. Maybe I can incorporate that into what I do. Or you may be thinking, hmm, I'm doing a few of these, but maybe I could do them a little bit better, or you kind of may combine them together, okay? So that's, that's my goal for, for, for this, for this um, what I'm gonna share with you, some business models, okay? The king of high ticket sales, world's highest paid consultant, media celebrity, multi-millionaire entrepreneur, acclaimed TEDx speaker, international best-selling author, Dan Locke. So what kind of business do you want to build? So we talk about who you want to sell, who you want to serve, who, what target market you want, to, you want to go, you want to pursue. So let's talk about very fundamentally, what kind of business do you want to build? So coaching business model, that's the concept virtually no one talks about when starting a coaching business. Simply put, a coaching business model is where the money comes from. How are you gonna make money? With your expertise. How are you gonna make money with expertise? In other words, it's your source of revenue. Your source of what? Revenue. Yeah, how are you gonna make money? Ideally, it's where you also have the most fun if you structure it properly. I've met so many coaches and consultants who spend years building a full practice, a full practice, only to discover that they dread working with clients one on one. They spend years building the practice, make sure it's, they fill the appointment book. Ten years later, they found I actually hate working with people one on one. Or on the other hand, I've met coaches and consultants who, who now they're traveling around the world, they're on the road all the time, they're speaking and facilitating, and after so many years of doing that, they actually. That's not what they want to do. They want to stay home and homeschool their children. I've seen that happen too. And I've a very good friend of mine, a very successful sales uh, trainer, international sales trainer. After 20 years in the business, we have a conversation. He's looking at me and said, Dan, I hate what I do. I waste 20 years of my fucking life. I do not like it. I made a living, good, very good living doing it, but that's 20 years of my life I could not get back. I hated that. I said, well, it would be good to find out in year two. <laughs> instead of waiting for 20 years. So that goes back to what Kayvon was talking about, know yourself, knowing what your strengths are, what you're good at. Sometimes we're so, again, so close to it, we don't know. Helpful to have like a, a mentor to point it out. Oh, you're actually good at this. Oh, I, yeah, I am good at that. So it's like as little as just kind of like take, taking the blinder off, now you can see more clearly. So part of a consultant coach, what you're providing is also clarity. What are you providing? Clarity. 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 Now, in order to provide clarity, you gotta be crystal clear about your stuff. You cannot provide clarity for others if you, you don't have clarity, right? Your own stuff, you know what I mean? Your own stuff. So let's talk about model number one. One-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting, this is the most common model also considers traditional coaching. Most people think of coaching consulting, yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. Most new consultants start out with this model, with this model, and adding more leverage to the business later. So basically, as a one-on-one -on -one model, you are selling, you're trading hours for dollars. Sometimes it could be hourly rate, it could be sometimes a package thing where they buy blocks of hours, or five hours, or 10 hours, that kind of model. It's simple, it's true, a tried, proven model, very easy to do, very easy to get in. How many of you are actually using this model right now, like you're charging per hour, right? You charge people X amount per hour, okay? And it's okay, and, and it's a lot of people start that way, but you don't want this to be your only model. What's the problem with this model? Hard to scale. Hard to scale, yes. Hard to make money in my sleep. It's hard, you won't make money while you sleep. It would be nice if you have a call, let, pay me, but let me sleep. <laughs> that would be very nice. There's 20 hours in a day. There's only 24 hours in a day? Yes. You have to be there to run it. Hmm? You have to be there to run it. You have to be physically there, right, to run it, yes. Because you're selling your hours for dollars. 
Now, there's a time and place for that. Example, myself, on, on my clarity profile, that I do my hourly, you know, I've done about, I don't know, 60, 70 of these. Now, I don't like this myself, but because, I'm taking you behind the scenes a bit, that with my social media presence, I have so many people requesting my help that they might not fit into my other types of consulting services that I offer. They just need that 10, 15, 20 minute call to solve a very specific problem. So then with this, I can point them, hey, just book a call, 10, 20, 30 minute call, then we we'll solve your problem and that's that. So this is quite transactional. This is a very transactional thing. But because I'm getting so many lead flow, that's why I set this up myself, right? But it's not my main model. But I wanna, you'll see that most of these models I do in one way or the other. That's why I wanna show you what I do, why I do it, then you can think about for yourself, oh, do I wanna do that or maybe I wanna tweak a little bit of what I do. Got it? Okay. So another one-on-one -on -one model, this is what I prefer. It's a long-term relationship, more it's a one-on-one -on -one agreement, 12 month, 100K plus revenue share, a 12 month commitment. That kind of model, I call that the equity income partner model that I pioneer. I prefer that kind of model where I participate on the upside. Still one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't just want to get paid per hour, I want to participate in a long-term growth. So that's my model as well. So you can do it per hour, one-on-one, -on -one, or you can have a long-term commitment where, hey, I work with long-term, if your company is doing this, but I can help you get to that, I want to be able to share some of the growth, okay? I prefer that much more. Model number two, group telecoaching program. So in this, in group telecoaching program, you're walking a group through a process. Through a what? Process. A process. So it could be phone, could be webinar, could be email, typically anywhere from 10 to 50 people. Could be a little bit more, 10 to 50 people. And you could charge, you could charge anywhere from 995, 1,000 bucks to like even up to $10,000. And it could be four week, it could be eight week, could be 12 week, it could be six month, it could even be a one year program. Typically a group telecoaching program focus on one specific outcome and one transformation that they they join your program because they want to get this particular result. Just one thing. Usually that's how it works. Usually people don't join a program like that because they want to learn a bunch of stuff. They want to solve one particular problem. So example, you, you'll see sometimes these groups where, oh, they will teach you how to say in four week, $2,000 telecoaching, they take 50 people, they're going to teach you how to do Instagram. Just very precise. Or they're going to teach you how to do YouTube marketing. Boom, right? Very precise. Just one thing. Not like a bunch of things. And the more niche you go, typically the more money you could charge. The more niche you go, the more specialized that you, you, you kind of focus on, the more money you can charge, typically. So example would be uh, one of my mentees, Matt Asafan, he'd been my mentee for three years. Uh, social media director certification program, which is a program that teaches people how to be a social media director. And Matt has helped hundreds and hundreds of people make a full-time living as a social media director. So that's an example, it's a five-week program, $2,500. They take in online script coaching, they get some videos, they get some Q&A. That's kind of how it works. That's an example of that. In our example, K1, now we've got a program, which is a high-ticket closer certification program. That's gonna be a seven-week kind of program uh, it's the same idea, a group of people, we take them through a process, it's the same idea, right? So I'll walk you through it. So we transform serious go-getters from sales whims to high ticket closer that can make 100K a year or more. So we have seven modules taught over seven weeks. I'll personally, K1, I mentor them during that seven week period of time. So telegroup coaching. Cost featuring training, Q&A and role plays. And also at the end, the, the best graduates have the opportunity to join my high ticket sales team upon graduation where we're gonna get contracts and send them clients. So that's a $5,000 per person program. So it's the same idea. Telecoaching, a period of time, very clear outcome, you charge a fee, but it only lasts, could be four weeks, could be seven weeks, could be eight weeks, could be 10 weeks. Follow me so far? Yeah, so that's another, just another model. Model number three, live group coaching. This is a little bit different, live group coaching. So this now includes some kind of in-person meetings. And the length could range from anywhere from a few weeks to even several months. Again, often moving a group through a process together or studying a curriculum together. 
Uh, group leverages time and creates dynamic experience because it's in person, right? You try to solve the problems together. And you can choose the optimal environment. You can choose, you can do it in a setting like this. You can do it in some kind of a, a, a different environment. Could be a business environment or could be more a relaxed environment. That's okay too. My limit to local market, unless you have an international brand name. Unless you have an international brand name. So let me give you some examples. Strategic coach, how many have heard of strategic coach? Yeah, Dan Sullivan. So strategic coach, which this is the signature program where they meet, they meet once every quarter. Once every quarter. You get together as a group, you brainstorm, you set goals, you think about your business, you block out a little bit of time. So if that's a strategic coach, and they serve different sectors. They serve financial planners, but also entrepreneurs who make 100K or more per year. That's kind of the minimum to join. So strategic coach, that's, that's one form of like a live kind of in-person coaching. Now, what's the pros and cons of doing it, let's say, for six weeks through a telephone versus in person. Give me some pros and cons. Yes? You could waste your time if that person doesn't show up. So you could waste your time as a coach if that person doesn't show up? Yeah. If you're doing it through telephone? Uh, either through telephone or if you meet them in person, like, hey, let's go meet at this cafe and I'll do some coaching. Oh, they, they, they don't show up. Okay, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's a waste of time. Okay, good, yes? With something like Dan Sullivan, you have to actually travel to yeah, so every quarter you got to go somewhere, right? You got you to fly to some place, unless it's local, right? Okay, yes. Pros and cons. What are the good things about them? You get to meet them personally, right? You have relationships. Yeah. Relationship, you get to meet them personally. And isn't it true also sometimes you want to do something and you have the best intention to get something done, but you never get around to it? But when you lock yourself in a room for a couple of days, that shit gets done, right? Yeah. Right, so it's kind of like a forced implementation. Also, the environment might help you to be more productive, right? That's another advantage of it. Give me a couple more. Potentially some joint ventures might come out of it. Well, maybe some, yeah, some relationship, maybe some joint ventures among the students. Yeah, possible. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, yes. You want? In a way, social proof of other people seeing other people being mentored by you or being coached by That's you. That's also helpful because you may be through telecoaching. You don't know, like, am I the only person that's buying in this program? Or like there are 20 others, I don't know. But in this case, oh, you, need 30, you see 30 people in the room. Awesome, that's social proof. Huh? Maybe that, yes. Give me one more. Give me one more. Just one more. What about, uh, think about in terms of creating results. Is it better to do it through like a seven week thing where you help them every week or is it better to do it maybe in a two day, you know, in a, in a, in a live setting? Which one would think you think would produce better results? Live creates more accountability, interesting, yes. You can do way more of a transformation live. You can do more can transformation more live. Yeah. They're there for three or four days. Yep. They're sleeping there, they're eating. The whole experience becomes a transformation. Yes, yes, I like that. I like also the people around them, right? But also, not so much depending on the business model, but also depends on the coach or consultant. Because if you do it through a telecoaching, the requirement of your skills are lower. Because you do it through the telephone, right? You can just kind of coach through the curriculum, you're looking at your notes, maybe you have some kind of PowerPoint, you walk them through stuff, and they have some, they have some questions, you answer Q&A, that's cool. But doing it live two days requires more skill, right? So you have to ask yourself, oh, am I comfortable facilitating a group of people for two days that I can answer the questions on the spot? Most people are not, right? Can you do that? Do you have that skill set? If you say, I love, I thrive being live, I love to jump off the plane without a net, I love that feeling of working with people through that process, awesome. This model, perfect for you, I love that stuff. So this is good. But for some people, they're not comfortable with that. A lot of speakers, speakers, you notice, they are great speakers, but they're not comfortable doing like Q&A and live interaction. They can tell great story, but suddenly someone Ask them something, it throws you off there like this script, right? So you gotta be very comfortable up here and know your stuff in order to do that. Steven, yes? Yeah, to me, the biggest thing when you're doing online coaching or tele coaching or anything that's you know, virtual, I mean, there's Facebook, there's email, there's distractions and stuff like that, and that can really take away. Mm -hmm. I, God knows I started courses and never finished them. 
But if I actually go to the seminar yes. or to the workshop and, you know, you're kind of, uh, you're, you're, you're there to do the work. You're, there. you're, you're kind of, yes. you're, you're immersed. Yes. You're immersed into it. You're going to get way more done. Yes. So you have to, so consideration when you pick different business model is first, does it work with your personality, your strength? Also, lifestyle consideration. So if you're running, let's say, a program like a strategic coach, a trainer has to be there. The facilitator has to be there. You cannot automate it. He's got to be there every quarter doing his, conducting the training, right? And if you run multiple group, then you got to think about, okay, I got to do this quite often. So it's a lifestyle consideration. Does it fit into what I want to build, right? So you gotta think about also how much money you wanna make. On the other hand, let's say a telecoaching model, you, I, I can scale it. I've done a program where I have 100 people in a telecoaching program, but my work is exactly the same. If I have 10 people in the program versus 100 people in the program, the amount of time I'm investing to deliver the program is exactly the same. It gives me a lot more leverage. So you gotta think that through. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just giving you the different options and kind of the pros and cons. No one model is perfect. You just have to ask yourself, yeah. Like some people, you know what, I'm doing one-on-one, -on -one, but I would love to do live in-person kind of coaching, but I'm not, I'm, I, have a, I mean, I cannot speak in public. I just have this fear. Okay, well, that, that might not work so well until you've developed that skill. With me so far? Yeah, yeah so those are the considerations. There's no right or wrong. I just want to point out the possibility. Another one, pro coach, a friend of mine, um, Andrew, so Andrew runs Pro Coach. I think Andre, you were in, you still in it or you yeah. were in it? You still in it? They meet once every quarter. Yeah. Once every quarter, right? You get together for how long? A day. A day. Nine and to five. Nine to five, and you kind of plan your day, set some objective for the next quarter, right? Get some clarity in your business, right? So that's a local kind of thing, Pro Coach. Uh, exactly this kind of model. Uh, how many people are typically in 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 the room? Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five ish. Okay. So that there's an example of that, right? So that's another form. Unless you have an international brand name, very often something like this limits to local because it's in person. If you have a big enough name, international name, then people are willing to travel to attend your thing, which is okay. So you need to take that into consideration. Let's talk about model number four, which is coaching intensives and retreats. Coaching intensives and retreats where if you get energized by a group of people and enjoy traveling, consider this model. You will do most of your coaching on stage and inspiring and motivating your audience. So one time we went two to three days. For coaching intensive, usually sometimes I, I've, I've seen model where everybody kind of takes turn uh, with a hot seat in front of the room. Now, in case you're not familiar with a hot seat, basically someone sits on, on a seat and they would share what uh, they're going through, some of the challenges they might have and what help they need, and then group will try to come up with solutions and help them. That's a hot seat, okay? And for retreats, combinations of curriculum and process and coaching. So sometimes the facilitator or the mentor would teach them something, go through curriculum, and then do some hot seat for a few people, and then they do another curriculum, I go through another process and then do some hot seat, that kind of thing. That happens too, okay? So coaching intensives. Now with this model, what's good about this model is you do the work, if you're done properly, you do the work two or three days, but it's a, it's a big payday. It's a big payday for you, okay? And some people sometimes, coaches, consultants, they would use that model where they deliver massive value in that two or three days and then they would upsell them into more long-term program. That happens too. So they go through two, three days, they love it. Hey, if we want more, now I have an ongoing program with six month or 12 month, that kind of structure, that happens too. So an example is a Brian Tracy, a Brian Tracy speaking, professional speaker kind of program where basically you go to, you fly to uh, Brian Tracy's office for three days with a group, a very small group of people, like maybe a dozen, and Brian would train you take you through a curriculum of his, what he's learned in 30 someone years as a professional speaker, plus you also maybe present in front of the group to get feedback on how to help you improve as a speaker, 
Okay, so it's a coaching intensive. So some of the things that are included, the pre-work to prepare for Brian Tracy, uh, to before you, you go there, uh, three fully interactive days with Brian in his office downtown San Diego, including snacks and lunch, and then you get a workbook, you get some books and CDs to support your learning, you get an endorsement video from Brian Tracy, you get a video of you speaking, fully edited, produced, used for your own marketing, you get a certificate after you complete, after the three days you also get 12 monthly tele follow-up tele, tele seminar recordings. So it's combining a little bit of telecoaching with the coaching intensive to build more value, that's okay too. And then opportunity to network and meet with other speakers and successful professionals. So you're going there again, two, three days, you are looking to get a specific result. I want to become a better speaker. Brian Tracy is one of the top speakers in the world. I go there for three days, I learn a lot of uh, techniques and strategies, great, and boom, that's what you're buying. Another example would be from uh, Jay Abraham. How many have heard of Jay Abraham? Okay, marketing genius, marketing consultant. So for Jay, this is like a two, three days of intensive that you go there, you go to, I think I believe in Los Angeles, go to Jay's uh, beach house, $25,000 a person with maybe four people, four or five people at a time, th two, three days, just hot seat and you, you will brainstorm, Jay will teach you some teaching and then they will answer some questions, kind of work on your business a bit, two, three days, you walk out of that with a plan, a growth plan to grow your business. So do the numbers for Jay, two, three days of work, four or five people, that's $100,000, $125,000 that you pocket with virtually very little expense. Just basically chatting at his speech house, <laughs> right? You don't need to do a lot of these to make a good living, right? Of course, that's, we've got Jay's name, brand, but I want to show you the model first, right? Another one, Day with Destiny. How many have heard of Tony Robbins? Okay, so Day with Destiny, again, is a six day coaching intensive. Basically, six days with a lot of people, and the price point with Tony depends. Uh, it depends on what package you buy and how you, you buy it. Let's say anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000 per person. Five to $8,000 per person, Day with Destiny, at this point, with Netflix. How many have seen the movie, I'm Not Your Guru? Okay, with that, that movie and things like that, I don't know, four or 5,000 people? 5,000 people times five grand, you do the numbers. So six days, that's how much money he makes, right? Well, he's not rich, but he could, he could live off of that. It's, 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 he gets by, he gets by, okay? So that's a very powerful model. Short period of time, a lot of people, a lot of value. So it could be as little as like a dozen people, five people, it could be 4,000 people, right? Now, the day with destiny, if you know Tony's work, it's very different from Unleash the Power Within. Because Unleash the Power Within is more him presenting ideas, but day with destiny is more you work on your stuff. And he does a lot of interventions throughout the all six days. So it's a little bit different. Again, but a little bit of curriculum, a lot of inter interventions, take you through different exercise, and then, uh, and then a little bit of curriculum, different exercise, but you work on your own stuff, okay? You work on your own stuff. Anyway, how many have been through Day with Destiny? Anybody? Nobody? Oh, it's okay, good, good, good. Stephanie's been in it, through it a couple of times, right? Yeah, it's like a few times. Very powerful program. So model number five, VIP days. This one is good for a lot of, a lot of you. So it's a one-time event. Clients basically pay for a full day with you, just one full day. Easy to sell, quick burst of income. Usually it's one day, face to face, and it's easy to run because clients are usually responsible for their own agenda. So they come to you with something that a problem they want to solve, and you help them solve that in one day or half a day. Half a day consulting uh, or full day consulting. It can be happens in your office, it could happen in your home, uh, other locations. I do this in my home office. You can do it in any other, any other locations that you choose. So coaching, mentoring, and sub-teaching if appropriate. Maybe sometimes it's coaching, mentoring with a little bit of hot seat, that happens too. I like to use, uh, because for brainstorming, myself in my office, I've got, when you know, uh, mentees come to my, my house, I have a big, massive whiteboard. That's when we need to, to write stuff and to brainstorm. Some people, some coaches, consultants, they like to use flip charts and other visual things, whatever that works for you. Uh, I like a whiteboard. I love, I like to think with a whiteboard. 
Okay, some people use PowerPoint, that happens too. So uh, VIP days, so here's an example of a good VIP day from Speaking Empire, which I've got a couple of friends who've gone through that. So if I believe the price point, I think the price point is $10,000, very niche, very specialized. So basically you are a platform sales speaker. You've got a presentation, a sales presentation of some sort. And it's maybe it's working well, but maybe it's not working well. You go there for one full day, the entire team will help you tweak that, script it out, walk through it again, and you walk away with a script and a PowerPoint that you can go and just to sell. You can use it to do, do it through a webinar, you can do it in person, but that's what they do. Basically like a speech a presentation makeover. You pay $10,000, you go there and they fix the whole thing. Okay, they make it a VIP experience, they pick you, up, pick you up in limousine, they provide lunch, you go to the office, whole nine yards, that's what my friends told me. And I asked him, well, is it worth the 10K? He said, well, I, we said, I, I think so. I said, why couldn't you just work on your own script? Because that's what I do, work on my own script. But no, 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 I said, it never gets done. I spend 10K, I fly there, it gets done. And for him, it's well worth the $10,000, no brainer for him, and I said, okay, great. And so that's one form. You go there for one full day to get, again, a very, very, very specific outcome. Very sp now, wouldn't you say that's pretty niche, right? Not only speaker, but certain types of speaker and provide a certain types of service. And they're the best in the world. They've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, right? Just that one thing. So when people think of, I want someone to give me a, a speech, a sales presentation makeover, oh, I can go to these guys. Very powerful. Again, you don't need to do a lot. If you do think about you do four, like say one a week, four a month, that's if you charge ten thousand, that's forty thousand dollars. Right? Myself or to do a one day I call it a day with Dan, that the company will come to my office, we lock in, in my office, we brainstorm. Um, I don't do a lot of this, I probably do one every quarter for somebody. If you send me a request, one every quarter, outside of my group. I've done quite often with people within the IC in a circle, but outside the IC, maybe one every quarter that I do. Again, come in, whatever problems, I help them solve that in one day. So that's one model. Model number six, continuity or membership program. Now this, you should be very familiar with. It's just simply a monthly charge on a credit card, usually at a lower, lower ticket amount. People can either enter and drop out anytime. This is very good for providing sample. What is it? Sample of your work, of your teaching. Good at as an entry level designed to move members up your ascension ladder. So they buy something for maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 bucks. Automated membership program, they get some of this stuff, your work. And then if they like it, oh, now they want to maybe buy your VIP days, maybe join your coaching intensives or the telecoaching program. So ease of entry. If you're providing specialized information, you could charge more money for that. And can be a cash cow, a decent cash cow, if you are amazing at driving large amounts of traffic to your site or have a big list. Have a big list. Well, do you want your software kind of falls into this model? It was $27 a month. Yep. And how many, at peak, how many people you had at peak? We're doing 30,000 a month. Yeah, 30, so right? Back then, $30,000 a month. So that's that kind of model. Every month you build them for like 20, 30, 30 bucks, right? Yep. You got a bunch of people in that. Cool. And through that, maybe some of them would upgrade to more maybe one-on-one -on -one coaching or different things that you do. So that's a very, very good way. Some people might use the membership, this particular model, just they're not trying to make money from the program, but they're trying to filter and try to get people into this program so then they, they know it, it kind of covers the marketing costs. It filters the people who are prospects. Now they've got a bunch of actual buyers, right? Subscribers. So some people use it that way. So, an example, Weight Watchers. How many have ever been on Weight Watchers? Anybody, a couple of people? Nobody? Yes, okay, thank you, yes. So, so there are different program, meetings plus online, you know, 11 bucks a week, and then if just online, it's like five bucks a week, right? That's what they have, works or not, regardless, but that's what they have, right, a membership program. And here's a, like a program that I belong to, right? It's, it's like a martial art uh, uh, membership where I pay over 20, 30 bucks a month. And I join the membership and uh, I get some videos every single week. And they automate the whole thing and, and that's what they have. So again, it's a membership program. That's pretty interesting. So how many of you belong right now some kind of membership program? Okay, give me some example, except porn. 
<laughs> Give me some good examples. Uh, K Money Mastery, full disclosure was definitely. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, K Money Mastery, yes. Uh, the dr online drumming uh, lessons. Online drumming lessons, okay, yes. Give me some, a couple more. Actually, put up your hand again. You belong to some kind of membership. Just put up your hand. Look around the room. See how popular that is. It's interesting. It's, there's a lesson here, right? So think about people online. Now there are a lot of different subgroups. Because think about this. That before, when you have a membership like that, maybe difficult to sell, but now with what's happening online, Facebook, and you can target, you can have like some, like this is pretty niche. Like this is martial art, Bruce Lee's martial art from a specific instructor, right? That I like, I would subscribe to that. Or there's maybe a, a fitness training program that I could subscribe to uh, specifically for, I don't know, bodybuilding, whatever, right? And boom, I could do that. Or sometimes these dating sites, it's also another kind of membership model, right? Men styling membership, yes, that's another form of membership. So think about what are some things that you can do. Don't put yourself in a box. I have seen, it's, I've, I've seen websites where, like again, the weirdest, craziest thing, I'll give you some examples. I saw a website where you subscribe and it, all it talks is about like different types of guns. Like for gun lovers. Okay, like I'm a Canadian, I can't have guns, but like, right? That's pretty cool. I've seen websites where they only do extreme workouts. Like people flipping tires and all that shit, right? Yeah, it's, it's like an underground fitness like type training, right? I'm like, who buys this crap, right? And they've got like thousands and thousands of, like literally thousands of members, right? Paying them 20, 30 bucks a month. I've seen stuff where like the, the hobby, like gardening, but like a, a very particular kind of gardening, which I don't get because I don't, I don't do those things, but it's like a very particular type of gardening that people pay, yeah, 20, 30 bucks too. It's the craziest thing. The craziest thing. So maybe a model that you could consider. Model number seven, mastermind groups. It could be anywhere from uh, eight to 50 plus people, typically an annual program. If you're doing some kind of mastermind group, you wanna have some kind of application process. And each member takes turn in hot seat and could range for anywhere from $8,000. I've seen mastermind group as much as $100,000 per year. So you have a big range, very big range. So for mastermind groups, now, out of all the seven models, mastermind groups are the most difficult to run. Because it depends on how you run your mastermind group, the host or the teacher, the mentor who's running the, the mastermind group requires some tremendous skills. It's not easy. And that's also why you look in North America, you can name probably with one hand how many, like, mastermind groups, like a top, top mastermind groups. Not many, like I can name, I probably, on top of my head, I can think of four or five. Not many of them. Because it requires a lot as a teacher to do this. Titans Mastermind, which is a, a mastermind group that they belong to last year, which is $20,000. We get like three uh, two-day live events per year and hot seats and you learn from different speakers. You can attend any one of the three live events. You can attend all three. And also you gotta meet with people, so that's a mastermind group, 20K, for like marketers, direct response marketers. So that's an example. Of course, you have DIC, that's another form of mastermind group that I've been running for a few years. So let me talk about the pros of mastermind groups. So for mastermind groups, the, the advantages are you're able to charge higher dollar per client. High dollar per client. You get more committed members because they're skin in the game, because it's high ticket. You focus the group, the group, the focus group that move to work, to work together, towards the goal together, because they're a group of people. Members help and support each other. Members get spectacular results because it's the groups to support. Uh, retreats and locations of your choice. You can choose location. Like in October, my group, we're going to Hawaii together. So that's, you can choose because I think it was fun to go to Hawaii, so we go to Hawaii. That's pretty cool. Uh, as a facilitator, you learn from other members as well. So if you're a good facilitator, you pay attention. As you're facilitating your mastermind group, you can learn from other, your members as well. You can learn from their businesses. The disadvantages of a mastermind group, time commitment. Because running a mastermind group takes tremendous amount of time. Only makes sense if you love the people that you work with and enjoy spending time with clients. I have met quote unquote gurus who run pretty successful mastermind groups, pretty profitable. They hate, they hate the clients. 
They cannot like they they do the thing and they can't wait to get out of there. They can, they just to them it's a huge profit center, but they actually do not like to spend time with the people. I've seen that before. Requires to be a master of multiple skills. I've talked about facilitating, pre presenting, teaching, hot seat, consulting, selling from stage, leading. Like it requires a lot of skills. It's a great model, but it almost requires like the way I run it. The mastermind DIC is almost a combination of everything with the first six model. I do some one-on-one, -on -one, I do some live, I do uh, some hot seat, I do in person at, at my home office, I do have a curriculum that I have to teach. So I, I'm doing a little bit extra, but it requires a lot of skill. Uh, group politics and issues, because you have a group of people, usually type A, high achievers type, you get some issues. Uh, emotional taxing, sometimes attachment, they attach to certain members, and then they leave the group, there may be issues with that. Uh, extreme resilience required. Extreme resilience required. Most profitable, but takes the most amount of skill to run. Does that make sense? Yes? yes? Hello? Yes. Good, okay. So the seven business models. So, what have you learned from my talk, and how does it apply to you, and how do you take direct action? Comment below and let me know. If you have any other questions, you can also comment below. And don't forget, click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification, and hit the bell. So every single time I upload a new video, you will get notified. If you want to watch my other videos, make sure you can check them out on the left. You can check out all the other videos that I have. We have hundreds of videos on YouTube. You want to expand on a topic? Check it out.